Well, they are one of the largest snakes on the planet and since 2000 Burmese pythons have been breeding in the Everglades and spreading throughout Florida. Now, according to the National Park Service, two have been spotted in the Jacksonville area. But that's just one invasive species that Floridians have to deal with or worry about as well. And as First Coast News Heather Crawford reports, we have our own challenges here in the River City. That's right, Jeannie. One of those challenges, wild hogs, and they're not new to Florida. In fact, they're believed to have been introduced by a Spanish explorer in the 1500s. And it's not only woods where you can find wild hogs, they're also in residential neighborhoods, and they are causing a ton of damage. <laughs> This feral hog, only about two months old, may look harmless, but look at how big it could grow. This is a hog I actually caught uh, in the Nocatee area with dogs. He was, um, he was a 400 pound, around 400 pounds. We actually couldn't even move him. I've heard of him eating calves, uh, young calves, uh, baby deer. We've actually caught some before that we've harvested and found baby deer hooves inside. So they are omnivores, so they're, they're very opportunistic, so they're going to they're going to go for whatever they can find to eat and stay alive. And Ryan Boyd with Quick Catch, a nuisance wildlife trapping company, says wild hogs are a huge problem on the first coast. And they're smart, so catching them can be challenging. Hogs are very easily educated. So if you catch, let's say, eight out of the 12 hogs, or however big the sounder is, yeah, that's good that you've caught eight, but yeah, you just, you've just educated the other four that are left out there. So let's say one of those four is a female, is a sow, and six months later she has pigs, and she's walking around with her pigs, and she comes to, up to a trap, and she's real skittish. Well, now her and all her piglets are trap shot. So they're very easily educated animal. They're actually the smartest animal in the woods. This is their nose here. This little thing right here is like a, it's like a shovel. That's what they use to root up the, uh, the dirt and all the grass and landscape and whatever you've got planted, they're going to... Read up. Researchers say a conservative estimate of the cost of wild hog damage to agriculture and the environment in the U.S. currently stands at one and a half billion dollars annually. These, these actually came out of Nocatee, um, the Nocatee area. Mickler and A1A, Pond of Idra is a big, big issue. Um, I've had them over in Oakleaf, um, over on the west side of Jacksonville. Um, I've had them in Mandarin. I've, I've had calls from pretty much all over. Florida actually ranks second in the nation when it comes to the number of wild hogs here. It's believed that there are more than 500,000 in the Sunshine State. Feral hogs are not native to Florida, and neither are these one of the fiercest predators in Florida. And be sure to tune in tonight at 11 o'clock to see how that invasive species is wreaking havoc under the water here on the First Coast. Live tonight in Jacksonville, Heather Crawford, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25. Boy, I didn't realize hogs can cause so much damage. Thanks, Heather.